Hey, everybody, this is Chris DiFurio with Keys to the Shop. Welcome to another edition of Shift Break. Today's episode is brought to you by the Ground Control Cyclops Brewer from Voga Coffee. Um, it's really, at this time, important, more than ever, that quality is one of the experiential elements that you double down on because people are limited in their ability to enjoy your, your cafe, but uh, what's in the to-go cup really, really matters. And if you want to elevate what you offer in your to-go program, then the ground control brewer is absolutely perfect. And it's a great time to pull out all the stops and, and set yourself apart in your cafe. This is SCA award-winning technology that is truly changing the game in batch brew standards, pulling out more from your coffee than you ever thought possible. I've personally tasted the what it's capable of and it's amazing truly go find out more information over at vogacoffee.com that's v o g a coffee.com this episode is also brought to you by Baratza. Baratza designs precision burr grinders with a small footprint that's perfect for home and commercial environments. Uh, in this time where people are grinding coffee at home and brewing coffee at home more often than ever, working with a company that is dedicated to making their customers feel cared for is one of the most innovative companies out there and it was unbeatable customer service. That's gonna be key to your success. So no matter what kind of brewer, uh, you use. Uh, Baratza has a grinder to fit that all the way from uh, espresso to French press. They strive to provide quality grinders that are easy to use, reliable, and like I said, awesome service. So if you want to find out more information about partnering with Baratza and your business and personally finding out why they are one of the most trusted, recommended, and innovative grinder companies out there, then go to their website over at Baratza.com. Truly great people and grinders that are second to none. Baratza.com. Okay, so today I wanted to cover a topic that I think really needs to be uh, spoken about, but I don't really hear too much about, and that is the COVID communication bubble. Um, and here's what I mean by that. We've got two groups of people that are learning all they can about what the uh, coronavirus crisis is doing doing to their world. There are professionals like us, and there are, uh, well, civilians <laughs> or just customers, people that are not professionals. And we're talking in the food service and hospitality world right now. Um, we are used to getting memos from our managers, uh, getting updates from the owner. We have Slack channels, Zoom meetings, posted flyers, um, all of this stuff. Over the past couple of months here, a few months, we have really become used to and attuned to receiving last minute information, updates based on what we're learning from uh, the government and what we're allowed to do and not allowed to do and all that stuff, okay? So at this point, most of us are starting to slowly reopen our cafes or the states are allowing around the May time, you know, this may not be you right now, but by the end of May, uh, from what I've seen, most states are going to have some form of re-entry into retail. And we have been training for this. We have been, again, in this communication world where we are tuned in and we can dr drop what we're doing one week and do something else the next week. That agility is a trained thing. Now, what's not spoken about necessarily is that fact that customers are not receiving the same training. They are not in the same world. Um, they don't receive anything except for what they hear on the news, and sometimes that's conflicting. Uh, they don't receive the kind of information that you do as much as you do, is what I'm saying. So the point is, is that when they come into the coffee shop, they're not going to have the ability to respond as quickly to changing information as you, specifically with regards to your rules and regulations. So what I can see happening is we become frustrated, and you see this happening now, we become frustrated at people's inability to know what to do in our stores. And yes, there are some cases, and I've, you see photos of people like in big crowds, even though there's some signs that say nobody over this amount, and people will ignore that. There are cases like that, and I'm not necessarily referring to folks like that, but what I'm saying is... Um, 
people are going to have a hard time switching expectations when they come to your place, mainly because you're not the only store in your city. Every store is going to have the freedom to take the full range of freedom they have by their state um, or partial. Like, for instance, in Kentucky, retail could be open at a certain capacity after the 22nd of May. Not every coffee shop has chosen to do that. It's a process of, you know, deciding which one of those freedoms do you think is most appropriate for you, your staff, and your customers? What do you feel the most comfortable with? And so you make a decision, and then you execute that decision. Customers aren't in your staff meetings. They're not in your Zoom calls. And so a lot of times when they show up, it's the first time that they're going to be uh, experiencing your unique brand of rules and regulations because the coffee shop up the street might have different rules. So what I'm calling for is a bit of uh, empathy to say, yes, this is hard for them. They're not professionals. We are. We know what our rules and regulations are. Let's make it easy for them to know what they are and not have to make them mind readers. Post signs, yes, but also talk about it. Uh, Post about it on social media. Give them every chance at success, facilitating their success at following and knowing about your rules and regulations. And as those things are updated, following up again. We have a a shift break episode called uh, Communicate, Duplicate, Repeat. Now, if you take the information in that and apply it to your customers right now and almost treat your customers like their employees that need to be kept up to date about all of the changes, then you're on the right track, I think. But what I see happening a little bit is we're frustrated that people don't know what our rules are when we've had like a sign posted, right? Uh, or, Or we've made one post on social media. And so we need to take a little bit more Uh, on as the communicators of something we understand well and then communicate it to people that are going to have a hard time absorbing that information because they have to hold, you know, the rules at Target, the rules at Walmart and uh, five different, you know, retail spaces and coffee shops that they go to are going to have variations. So let's have some empathy on the customer and do what we can to create successful Uh, adherence to our rules. And if people still after that, of course, don't respect you and don't follow through on what they know is required, then of course we have to take action. We can't risk, uh, you know, the safety of our staff and the public. Um, And we don't want people that are going to be blatantly rude. So we have to take care of that with, you know, you know, hey, you know, we have to have some, you have to have a mask on in here or, um, you know, you have to be six feet distant. So uh, if they refuse, you have every right to ask them to leave, of course. Um, but that's the last straw. You know, let's talk about what we can do to create a system of communication that's based on empathy from where they're coming from that says, hey, we're in a communication bubble. We, you know, we understand this stuff really well because it's our job to. Their job is to drink coffee <laughs> and be here and help support our business. Um, we love our customers. And so let's love them by facilitating their success and creating a great opportunity to welcome them back with clarity so that uh, we all can enjoy each other and coffee at the same time. So uh, that's what I wanted to talk about today. Just bear that in mind. I'm so excited to see you all opening up. Uh, yeah, I see lots of listeners and friends from around the world are starting to you know, welcome people back a little bit at a time, and it's so exciting. Um, next Tuesday, where I work at Quills in, in Louisville, we've got our patio open. And of course, it's going to be, there's distancing into things, but I cannot wait to see people kind of back in the shop. So anyway, I hope that this has been a helpful episode for you and gives you something uh, maybe to talk about with your staff. Help them see where the customer is coming from and um, let's empathetically enforce and communicate what we need to so that we can all have a good time as we uh, reopen here. So thanks again for joining me and I will see you here next week on another edition of Shift Break from Keys to the Shop.